Okay guys, so here we go. We have the back of the gear housing on a DD15. DD13 is very, very similar. Let me back, let me back this out a little bit and get you a better picture of it. Okay, so here is your crank gear. That literally just slides right over. You're gonna need two tools. If you're gonna start tinkering with this, uh, let's say you're gonna do a full overhaul. I'm not talking about an in-frame, I'm talking about an overhaul. You're gonna need two tools. One is going to be this one, okay? This is your, I think they call it a cantilever. You actually need two hands to remove it. Okay, it's gonna secure itself by the dowel and there's actually two pins or two guides. This gear is adjustable. So this gear will either go up or down depending on the lash you're gonna need. So this tool will actually get you right in the ballpark. I forgot what the book is on it, but you're supposed to put a dial indicator and you're supposed to check the teeth, the lash and all that stuff. But I'll be very honest with you, I've never done that. I've always used this tool. And as long as I can move this tool out of the way, I should actually use my GoPro for this, but as long as you're able to, see, as long as you're able to pull this thing out, there we go, fairly easy. Again, it takes two hands, it's not a one-handed thing, but if you pull that out, fairly easy. Okay guys, so check that out. This is actually having my guy Tony here help me out. And if you can notice, the gear itself is in place. It's not torqued down yet, but again, if you notice, you're able with two hands to evenly or without any resistance pulling it in and pushing it back or pulling it out, pushing it in. There's a little side view, okay? So once everything is good, at this point, you're pretty much spot on with your lash and you're good to go. So torque everything down. I'm gonna do that video. Coming that up means next. your lash is more than likely right on the money. Now I have not torqued any of these things down, okay? Everything has to be torqued. This here, okay? This one, this one. Uh, this one, obviously, this is where your flywheel goes. And this is typically on the older DD-15s, there's a turbine, okay? On the newer DD-15s, they got rid of the turbine. As you can see, let me whip it around here really quick. Okay, they actually put a plate or a cover. That's, you're gonna see that, I think, on the 2015s and above. Um, but again, that's with the turbine. We're not doing a turbine anymore. This is gonna have the V-Pod or the turbo and the V-Pod actuator type of setup. Kinda like the old uh, 14 liters that came out back in 05. But anyway, again, this has to get torqued down. You have to have this tool, okay? Runs up, at least when I purchased it, it was back uh, at about 700 bucks. I think Kentmore makes this one. There is a part number on there, it's J something or other. Anyway, I'll post that on my description link. You are gonna need this tool as well. That is gonna to lock and secure your crankshaft. Once you do that, again, you start here, you actually work your way up here first, make sure that this is good. Okay, you're gonna need this tool like I mentioned. Then you're gonna sit this one in this one this one actually is a little tricky this gear this gear has to roll in okay it's got to roll in if you can tell by the teeth see they're not straight they're actually at an angle same thing with this one they're at an angle okay these are straight but just these two no okay so you have to make sure so let's take a look and make sure we've got everything see if you can take take a little look there all right so i kind of switched it up a little bit into 4k so you can see what what's going on here okay take a look at that so that's where everything's going to sit okay everything is pretty much in its place this is where your high pressure pump goes on the back side down here this is where your air compressor is going to go it's going to actually mount up with the gear that's right back here okay, let me show you that from the other side okay it's kind of nice to see things so you get a picture of what's going on that's where your high pressure pump is going to get mounted and those are the gears that it's going to engage with your air compressor is actually going to engage with those gears on the upper left okay so pretty easy pretty simple again we're going to torque all this down but i wanted to show you that unfortunately i was running out of time so i did not go with recording everything while i was installing it yeah i know it's kind of a big fail on my part but anyway i wanted to show you this i'm going to torque everything down i am going to show you that in case you ever run into that it's very important that you torque everything down so Let's get, let's get to the uh, to the torque specs. So what's going on everybody? Here is the back of a DD-15 timing uh, the gear train. Let me see if I can get some light in here. All right, so I hope that helps. Let's take a quick look at it and see what we have. Sorry for the dog in the background, but she's uh, she's gotta be here for the day. So anyway, this is your cantilever. This is the one I was telling you about. Okay, this is already timed. This is torqued to, I believe, 44 to 48 foot pounds. This is gonna be about 72 to 74 foot pounds. Here is the fuel pump. You can take a look there. That's exactly what the fuel pump looks like when it's installed and it's timed properly. So you're gonna have your T at the 12 o'clock. You're gonna have your timing plate. Okay, those are the gears. This is also going to be 
fork down as well. Again, this is at about 72, 74. So essentially the same thing. 72, sorry, 72, 72, 74. That's just the old plate. And again, as I mentioned before in the video, this is where your turbine used to be installed, but because it's a 2015, okay, they went ahead and put a cover on that. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go ahead and get this covered up. Okay, I'm gonna give you an idea of how I do it. We're gonna apply some uh, gasket eliminate that Detroit makes. Okay, I don't know if you can see that there. Gasket maker, I'm just gonna apply a little bit around. Okay, I'm gonna put the new seal on there. We're gonna put the cover on there. We're gonna put everything on and torque it all down. So I wanna show you that before I get it done. So I'm gonna start applying the sealant all around everything. I hope you guys can see that. Sorry, the lighting isn't that great in here, but hope you have an idea of, what, uh, of what's going on. Okay guys, so there is the housing. And what I like to do is again, apply a very small amount of the sealant around it. Now you don't have to. The reason I do it again is just in case there's any little nicks that I can't see and I'm trying to prevent oil from leaking there because I would really hate to take this apart again. Okay, so once you do that, if you're gonna have your seal, okay? Seal is pretty, pretty easy to go around. It's gonna have that dowel that it's gonna hang on to. It's gonna have one over here. Okay, and then all you're gonna do is simply push it into place. Okay, you're gonna do that all the way around, make sure it stays. Now, it's not gonna be truly flat because it does bend a little bit when it comes in, uh, comes from the dealer. But anyway, so that's there, it's into place. I hope you can see that. 